This looks really, 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 really scary for my opponent. Go here, target the bishop. I have 92. Let's go back, maybe knight c6. Let's go rook c2, target the bishop, target the knight. Everything's looking pretty happy here. Pretty happy times. I, I mean, speedrun's already getting trick or, tricky. Thank you so much, Suzanne Lily, for the five gifted subs. Thank you so much to Suzanne. Appreciate it. Thank you. It was all very, very pleasant for me. Queen a5 lines up the classic right triangle. It also does a double attack. Just take and take. Game over. OG used to say someone was busted. Do you players still use that term? Of course they do. It's just that I... I it's just that I... Um, these days, I, I've, I've learned how, how to use the XQC terminology, which is a little bit more precise. Um, and again, I'm thinking too long. I mean, everything wins, so I should just move. Let's go here. Let's go here, target the queen in g5, maybe, maybe knight f5. Okay, now I just win. Let's go here, rook g1. No stalemate. Let's keep going. Am I doing a view arena? No, no view arenas later. What's the next game? Stop the clock. We're not. Okay, there we go. Another reason you should play the Bond Cloud in the opening, you guys, is because what happens is um, is because your opponent can't pre-move a Bishop G5 cheese at all. I'm going to go here to cut him off with the pass. I, that's just a piece. Two pieces. Um, go here, trade some queens. Very weird. Have you seen the clip where XC made a brilliant move? I have not seen that clip. No, I have not. Okay, let's keep going. See, and this is why King E2 is a great opening choice because your opponent can't cheese you with some silly Bishop G4 D1 nonsense. You don't have to waste time. You're just ready and you can just play F3. So that, that's why this is a very, very good opening. I mean, I really approve of it. This is actually a little bit questionable. I think I'm okay, but yeah, this is a little bit gross. Uh, G5, strong moves. Okay, um... Uh-oh, this is bad. I gotta focus. One second, you guys. This has to be... Oh, queen two is better. I could have forced queens off the board. So here now, rookie one is my big idea. Wow, I did not expect that, but still. This guy's crazy. This guy's insane. I mean, black, I think, is actually okay still, which is kind of funny, but...
Keep going. Andrew Tate says in one year, he'll be world number one if he tries. Thank you for the debate. Appreciate it. Thank you. Maybe if Andrew Tate had never played chess, I would actually believe that. But Andrew Tate has actually played chess. So uh, we know full well that that's a, that's a good debate. I'm going to play on the, on the queen side here. Just go back home. Now, you guys still hear the music, right? Yeah, okay, good. Um, let's just take, play A4, A5, and so forth. It's all very, very good. Watch the XQC clip. Yeah, good one. I think I, I, I think I, chess.com posted something about it. So just take over A7, keep everything happy times. Unfortunately, we can still hear it while the battery just, uh, just died for me. So like the aux is, aux is still playing, but I have no music playing. Go knight e5 here. I uh, have knight c4 maybe. So if my voice changes just a touch, that's why. Go here. Um, yeah, let's go here. Line up the legendary triple stack. I'm sure Dave Thomas would approve of this message. Let's go check and mate. All right, next game coming up. Let's keep going. Play e6, king e7. Go here. Play D6, maybe just knight, knight C6 and E5 somewhere. Okay, it doesn't... Uh, what am I doing, actually? What the heck am I doing? Not really all that wonderful. I think it's okay because I can manually castle. Yeah, okay, now that I get castle, I should be completely fine. Let's take, play like D5 maybe, or maybe I'll go F5, actually. Bishop E6, and I'm trying to play against this connect, this big white center here. I'm not sure how good it is, but it seems playable. Play h6, cut off knight g5. Now I have knight d5. I think I'm going to use this knight to go to d5. Use this knight. Let's just get let's just get a little bit wild here with g5. Okay, let's get a little bit more wild. Get a little bit more wild. Target the pawn. Let's go for the forkaroo. Take the rook. Take the pawn. Open up the board a little bit more. There goes a the pawn. A queen g4. And now, now that should all be great. Let's take. Let's go, Rick D. I think he wants to get a little bit more wild. Yeah, I said that like 10 times in, during this game. Let's just take the pawn, take the knight. This is all about to be over. Have I considered doing a queenside castle spieler? No. Um, okay, we line up the classic penny pen pin. So king g7, bishop f2. This will be over very, very soon. Let's take, drop back. We go next game keep rolling keep rolling by the way now my head bopping will be out of sync because with no music playing it's it's going to be out of sync with whatever the music is so fully fully question why i'm bop, bopping my head because I, I i don't have the music playing i'm just bopping my head to keep some kind of rhythm rhythm going all right i'm gonna go g6 bishop g7 rookie eight and go from there i can build a big black center but not yet i'll do it next move Okay, let's just... Ah, but I did it in the wrong order. Shoot. I was not expecting B4. That's very frustrating that he did it. Head bob out of sync, partner. Exactly. Yep, yep. Uh, normally, I don't, but the battery died. I, I forgot to charge my headset last night, so um, that's why it died. Yeah. Let's take and take and take. Let's go C6. Consolidate my chain. Your headphones are wired. Well, it's because it's there's a power on, power off button, so... Again, like, yeah, I, I mean, I I don't know the specifics, but yeah, what it is. Queen C2, let's just develop. Normally, target the pawn. Rook FD8, Queen F7. Go Rook C8, maybe a weak pawn here. Maybe just a little bit touchy. Um, Let's go here and just win the pawn traditionally. Knight C5 to hit the bishop, hit the queen. And we'll see what he's going to do. Um, I guess I'll take, I don't know if it's right, but let's just re re reroute everything. Queen C7. Should be some kind of trick. Like, it's just a very little tickle. Massage the queen, and then he loses the bishop. There's nothing he can do. It's a very little, little wrinkle. There we go. Game over. Just drop back, and the game in style. Yeah, as long as I don't allow some 
trick. Where is the competition? It's like watching Mike Tyson in, in his prime take on an entire elementary school. Relax, you guys. Just relax. Relax. That's not cool, dude. Not cool. Let's go D5. <laughs> Jeez. Ah, unbelievable. People are so bad sometimes. I kind of wonder why. Go here now. I have G6 on Queen H5, of course. Go here. Go King F7. Take. Take and play Rook B8. Yeah, it's what it is. Um, I guess I'll just go here. Line up the, the trick. There's a free Rook. Gladly eat the Rook. Go here. Now, Queen H4. Should just be very smooth sailing for me. Let's go Rook B3. Stack the two towers on the file. It's all very, very happy times. Go here. Force the Queens off. Oh, I had Rook B4 and Rook F3. What am I doing? Uh, whatever. Oh, well, what did I just do? Wait, what the heck? I just blundered. What the, what the heck was that? Okay, wait a second. I got to focus. Go here. There. Shoot. Um... Unbelievable. What the heck did I just do? Oh man, he blundered. There we go. Finally, a huge blunder. Jeez. Oh my gosh. <sighs> that was tense. Thanks so much to Scott for the 19 Arius for the Prime. If he didn't play Rook F2, I would have lost that game. Oh yeah, yeah. And right as soon as someone says that Mike Tyson comment too. Of course, that, that's right when that's right when it happens. There, there's a competition, you guys. There's a competition. Tens? Tens? What about tens? Play A3 here. Mike Tyson got Hikaru nervous. Yeah. Play E4, take with the pony. Get the king out of here. Oh, I said tens, not tens. Sorry, okay, yeah. Um, let's go here. Go here, open it up a little bit. Um, I guess I'll just play Rook F1. I heckin' love tens, right? Let's play 94. That's the meme, as I recall. Let's go Bishop E3 here. Uh, take the pawn, target the Rook. What's he gonna do? Uh, I think I can just take, so I win, win materials here. Go queen f3. Guess rookie one. one. Oh, I had g4. Back. Gotta be a little bit careful here. Just eat the juicer. Move the king over, sidestep stuff. Does Mike Tyson know what a chess board is? Probably he does. I'd be kind of surprised if Tyson doesn't know what chess is. Trade. Yeah, I, I would actually be very surprised. I'd be very surprised. I'm not saying that he plays chess, but I'd be very surprised if he's if he's if he, he doesn't know something about it. Go H5 here. Of course, everyone knows what chess is. What the heck? Yeah, exactly. You'd be surprised if he doesn't know who I am. Let's do the tickle tickle. Let's push. Just take and now I mean everything wins. As long as I don't lose my rook. That's all that matters. Yay! All right. See, so what is he gonna do? Okay, let's keep going. I guess he just mouse slipped. Again, um, he goes to e4. Everybody keeps playing e4 like way too premature, prem prematurely against me. I don't know why they keep doing it. Cause like now I'm just up a pawn and I'm just very, very happy. Everybody keeps doing this. I just don't know why. They just keep, they, they like spaz and play E4 as early as they can. Like, uh, it's just like, they, this is way too premature. Way too premature. All right, let's play uh, Rook B1, hit the pawn. I can just take next move. 
Um, I guess. I'll... Oops! Oh, that was a slip. What the heck? That was just a complete slip. Um. Let's go here. Take another pawn. Start running the pawn. That's a mistake. Uh, let's start running the pawn. Yes, there we go. And he loses. Oof. Okay, we get another win. Let's keep going. Uh, let's play e6 here. Let's go king e7. Oh, that's a free pawn. I, I mean, I always love free materials, especially when it helps me build a big black center. Take with the pawn, go knight c6. Holy moly sh guacamole, exactly. It happens. I mean, sometimes you're the hammer, sometimes you're the nail. In this case, everybody else is the nail. Let's play, let's play queen d7. Let's play rook d8 here. Knight c8, knight b6, finish the development. Let's go here and takes. Maybe just bishop b4, maybe rook c8 here. I also have rook a8 and rook a2. What's he gonna do? Let's just eat the juicer. Um, I guess I just keep keep improving my position. I never did finish my development, so I might as well finish it now. With queen c2, Let's just play h6. No need to be fancy schmancy. Let's just trade, drop back. Very simple positional play. Let's offer some trades. I have knight b4 to hit the queen. This is all very very good. You car a good gaming chair? No, I've got my $100 Amazon Basics chair, you guys. That's what I have. I, I actually do, like, inadvertently, I kind of mirror XQC in some ways. Like, it's like he's got that very basic setup. Doesn't do anything fancy schmancy. I think he also has, like, a basic webcam. And I'm kind of the same way. Like, I've got my basic chair. I got my old computer. I got all that. That's all I need. Let's go here. Trade some rooks. Let's go F5, E4. Yeah, I'm, I'm not, I, you know, I don't, I don't need a $10,000 chair. So, yeah. Go here. Actually, his knight is trapped. The knight is trapped. There are no squares. GG. All right, we get another win. Let's keep going. Did you also lose 20 million in Gamba? No, you guys. Of course not. Tyler also sounds like he's a five dollar key keyboard and mouse pad. Yeah, I mean, it's not all that fancy. Uh, we are 2300, but yeah, the players are becoming stronger, much stronger now. Go here. Playing is a little bit like a French defense, I guess you could say. Play h6, always got to cut this off. Now you go like b6, bishop a6, etc, etc. Go here, trade some bishops. Go back. c5, knight 6. I mean, this is very, very happy times for me. Just trade, play rook c8, queen d7, line up the, line up the double stack. Um, I guess I'll go here. Go b5, probably a5 somewhere in here. Still no threats on the king side. King's very, very safe. Not, not concerned. Not concerned. Definitely not concerned. Let's take the queen and go king g8, queen e8, and win the game. Let's go knight c6, probably queen h5. Now I have g5, I also have d4. Everything's kind of collapsing for my man. Just sack, sack the house, why not? When in doubt, sack the house. Go here, line up the checkmate. Go here. Still is no way to stop it. Other than other than the spite check, but that's not gonna get it done. Thank you to Bag of Cans with the lads for the eight months. Thank you also to Arthur Broke Hill for the sixth. Thank you, Frucos, for the good sub and general director with the prime. Thank you so much for general director. Alright, let's keep going. 2307. I think my goal is gonna be 2400. That's I think 24. Well, it's probably too high, actually. We'll see where I can get in the next hour or so. Let's take, let's play simple chess. Fianchito, develop the rook, develop the king. So now I've manually castled. I don't know why I did this. Go here. I bishop h6 to target the queen and the rook. Um, I guess I'll take the rook here. Why not? Let's take the pawn. Ah, actually, that was not so smart. Maybe very not smart by me. Let's 
Go B6 and Rook C8. I have to be a little bit careful here. So Rook C8, line up the threats on the Queen. I think I can now create a Bastion in the center and it should be winning. Just go here, line up everything. Also weaknesses in the center. Weakness is galore for my opponent, so I, I now now I should just win. Very clean. Clean, clean game. Sir, sir, could you try replying to that name? I don't quite get it, sir, sir. Yeah, let's go check. Rook C2. Line up the double stack and end the game. Or check and finish him, as they say, in Mortal Kombat. So let's take, and that's GG's. He'll probably just resign. Yeah, not to disrespect you, you're, you on chess in general. Oh, is this copy pasta? It's just copy pasta. Sorry, you guys. I can't read copy pasta. Not while I'm trying to play a good game of chess. Go here. Let's just smash the center with d4. Take the knight. Take the knight. It's actually kind of scary. Uh, I have 96 here. This looks really, 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 really scary for my opponent. Um, I guess I'll take the Rook, because the Knight's under attack. Well, that's just a free Pony. This Ponies are us. Let's go Knight C5, Bishop F4, and this is all very, very... This is GG's. WTF? Yeah, WTF. Have I ever listened to Boulevard of Broken Dreams? I have. There goes the Queen, and there goes the game. With it. Alright, let's go E3, King E2. Let's play this, Knight D2. So knight f3, I guess g3 or h3, let's play h3. Um, I guess I'll play g3. Maybe just bishop g2 next move. Um, and we'll we'll go from there. Yay! Again, another guy tries to smash the center way too way too early. These guys are so premature with their attacks. Um, I'm just up a pawn here with no no big worries. Although knight f6 was not very smart by me. He's thinking for a long time. He's looking for a trick that I don't think exists. Thank you so much, NT Penguin, for the two months. Appreciate it. Uh, let's go check. I'm gonna play this like a Botez Gambit. Oh, but he doesn't let me. He hangs it for free. Okay, let's go here. I could still have sacked, but who cares? No need to. Yeah. Go King E1. Rook B1. Yeah, it's, it's all bad. Oh, uh, what do you play? G6? And I have 6, Knight G4. It's got no time. I have Rook B1, Knight F3. Um, okay, now I'll play a Botez Gambit. Now, now let's play the Botez Gambit. The Botez Cloud? No, that's uh, not quite correct. Let's go Bishop C3. Everything's kind of collapsing here for my man. Check. Um... Let's just tickle the queen. Let's tickle the queen again. Let's go check. There we go. Keep going.